Hey guys, welcome back to Just the Drills. So this Saturday's video, we talked about hand pad and we talked about getting the perfect plane in the downswing. So we're gonna give you a whole bunch of drills in order to achieve this. Now I'm joined by Max Cooper, who's got a pretty good hand path if you ask me. So we're going to work to give you some great basic drills to help you out with this. If you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below. If you tell me the issues you have with your swing, I will address them in future videos. Also, please hit that subscribe button. We're building a great community here and I appreciate everyone's support and growing. All right, so our first drill is just gonna be a simple tracing drill. We're gonna work to understand what it feels like to get the butt of the club pointed down towards the golf ball in transition. Now, Max is gonna set up here and he's gonna put an alignment stick through his grip, okay? Now, when he goes up top, go up and give me your natural position. The butt of the club is pointed away. We are going to work to get this alignment stick pointed down at the golf ball as quickly as we can in transition. So come down slowly for me. Boom. Now, if you notice, the butt of the club and the alignment stick are now pointed at ball line. That's the direction we're looking for in our transition, okay? So we can work down from there. If you're a player who really gets the club shallowing, now this is where this is gonna get different. You're gonna notice that the alignment stick is pointed pretty flat, okay? So as he comes down, he's gonna have to, in order to get everything back, put that tilt down to get back to the golf ball. That's okay as well. But one thing you notice when he's doing that is the hands are always working out to the golf ball. They're not working too far behind him. The second the club and the hands work too far behind him, he's gonna get stuck and have a major issue trying to find impact and need to find a way to compensate his way out of that. All right, guys, so the next drill we are going to talk about is for the golfer that pulls their hands too far away from their body and cuts across. Now, this is gonna get you a good hand path. When you set up, you wanna have an alignment stick with a head cover or a pool noodle. Pool noodle's probably better for most golfers, just outside the hands, okay? That's gonna force our hand path coming in more from the inside into a good position in order to hit the golf ball. If we get in there and we cut across it, we're gonna bang into that stick and we're not gonna find the golf ball. Don't worry too much about contact with this drill. It's really hard to even see the golf ball when you're set up to it, but it will train the hand path and it will get your mind off of striking the golf ball. I think a lot of players get into position where they're throwing it because they're trying to get that club head down to the golf ball as quickly as possible. This is gonna set you up where that's not so much an issue. So go ahead, set up. I wanna see you make a solid strike on this golf ball here where you really work to keep the hand path in a good position. Beautiful. So as you're able to see, Max is able to work the hands in. Now it's gonna be pretty close. You want it about an inch or two away from your hands. Make sure it's up a little bit, but that's a great feel for the player that cuts across, hits the big slice, and really struggles with their hand path. All right guys, so this is another great drill. We're gonna use a wall here, and we are going to work on getting Max's hand path in a proper position. Okay, so first off, you're gonna set up with your head against the wall for the first drill, okay? Now, when he goes up to the top, I want him to feel, start coming down, that the hands work inside of the wall and the head stays up against it, okay? That's gonna put you in a position where the hand path is working more down to the golf ball. That's a great drill if you're the player that also struggles with pulling across and hitting the big slice. Now, for this drill, I'm gonna have you set up with your butt up against the wall, okay? Just off of it, I'm sorry. Come off it a little bit. Okay, now, come a little bit more off. Perfect, now go up to the top of your backswing and connect that to the wall. Get the club along the wall. Now, as he's coming down, I want him to feel that the hands are working out while the club head is falling behind him, okay? So that's the great shallowing drill that we could combo up there. The hands work out while the club head stays behind and he turns his body in order to be able to get that club out in front. Those are two amazing drills if you're trying to learn what hand pass should feel like. Now, one of them will really help you if you're that pull over the top slicer. The other one will help you learn how to feel the shaft falling behind you while you work your hands out. With the hand working out drill, it's really important to remember, keep your body turning and not just stay stagnant and pull your arms down. Let your body do the work to get the club out in front of you. All right guys, so I hope these three drills really help you clean up your hand path. I know it's a struggle for a lot of players, whether you're hitting slices, whether you're getting stuck, putting yourself in position where you can find that perfect plane in the downswing 
is one of the main keys to playing perfect golf. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.